And these are stamping tubes. Okay, measuring for the pencil marks. This one is at 411 millimeters. And we're just going to mark a few times around the pipe. Four hundred and eleven millimeters. One last one. Now to make it easy to see where to cut, I'm going to run a line of this masking tape along the pencil marks. This is the easiest way I know to get a really square cut, apart from using a drop saw or something like that. So there we go. Time to start cutting. We're going to run right along the edge of that masking tape where we've marked it with the pencil marks. And you always, you put your thumb up against there, and you always make your first cut backwards. That gives you a nice little groove. And now you can start cutting. And what you do is you're not going to cut through the whole way, you're just going to roll the pipe gradually away from you. Just coming up to where we started. Ta-da! Now if you look, you can see that on the end of the pipe there's all these daggy bits of plastic, and they're just called swarf. We're just going to take them off with any piece of cloth, just wrap it round there. Takes all the pieces off. Time to do the gluing now. This is just ordinary PVC cement like you'd use for reticulation. And in the cap, there's a brush. I'm just going to run some glue around the end of the pipe. Perfect. And then a bit more glue. Do the same to the cap on the inside. Use plenty of glue. There we go. All finished. It's just got to wait for it to cure.